YouTube. What's up, baby? <laughs> My man. But uh, it's your boy King D Raj, and we're on our way to the store. Uh, got our first week of training done at Hanson and Atkins, and I will say that it kicked my butt. Okay, it kicked my butt. Um, when I got home yesterday, I sat down on the couch and went to sleep. Then I got up and then I went back to sleep. And then this morning, I went back to sleep. <laughs> Yo, hey, look, listen here, okay? Car hauling is a different beast. I'm just gonna be real with you, okay? Uh, all you flat betters, man, salute to you. Uh, any other car haulers, salute to you. Um, it's different, okay? Uh, Woo! I got my first paycheck yesterday from Hanson and Atkins. Now, uh, the thing about them, they are two weeks uh, I'm not gonna say behind. Uh, what am I gonna say? They uh, they wait two weeks before they pay you for that week. So the week you know that I work like this week that I, I just finished training, it'll be two weeks before I get that check. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, some people are like, oh hell no, man, ain't doing that. But you know, if you're not managing your money right, I can understand why you say that. But it's not really a big deal. Um, when you go to training that first week, they say, hey, we'll give you $500 advance. They take a hundred and something dollars out of each paycheck after then. But again, we didn't have to worry about that, so we didn't take it. So all the money that we got paid, it all came to me, okay? Um, we'll talk about the pay, you know, it's whatever. It's not really a big deal. Uh, I am W-2, so we're gonna talk about the gross pay, okay? Because whatever I get paid may be different to you because of uh, how many kids you got or how many dependents, it may just be you. You may have child support, you know what I'm saying? You never know. So telling you the gross is what the gross would be and then you could go off of your personal situation to see how much money you probably would make at um, at this company, okay? So uh, my first check with them, because we were in training, which was 40 hours for the week, um, we got paid 1650 an hour which was, in my opinion, was not bad from given the stuff that we did. <clears throat> the hotel was free. Um, we had free breakfast. Lunch was free. And I won't, won't no raggedy stuff at, for lunch, bro. We went to nice places, okay? Not like restaurants. We went to good place to eat, okay? So uh, I, 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 there's no problem with that. But 1650, and we did 40 hours. Um, my check was 682. That was gross now, okay, uh-oh. That's um, my my little baby stuff. That, uh, that's for my wife, she be, you know, holding my daughter and stuff. But um, my check was 682, and again, that was gross. Depending on how your taxes are set up, you may get this, you may get that. <clears throat> but 682 wasn't bad. Um, I already knew that's what I was gonna get. Well, actually, I, I thought I was gonna get 660, but, um, they pay you to do, uh, you know how you gotta do little training, um, safety training and stuff like that? They give you little classes that you gotta do assignments on your, uh, the little phone they give you. And while you're doing that, you get paid 1650 an hour. So um, I think we had an hour's worth worth of assignments on there. And uh, I, I think we had, I don't know, we had some more, I guess. I don't know how I got to 682, but, um, so every time you do those assignments though, they, they pay you for that, which is awesome, I think, you know. But, so that, the 682, and then, you know, again, you just gotta stay, uh, stay up to date. So last week, I had my hours, I calculated my hours. So what I did was, what I think I should get paid two weeks from now, I put it in my calendar, okay? I put it in my phone and I put it on my, um, my calendar I got at the house. So as long as it's, it's that or a little bit more, I ain't got no problem with it. But anything less than that, then, you know, we're gonna have to talk about it. But, you know, from what I've seen, it ain't really a problem. Uh, so I'm so far so good, man. It's a good company. Um, the only difference 
is the equipment to me. Uh, it works, but it's older equipment than what I'm used to, okay? Because I'm used to brand, driving brand new trucks. Not saying that it's anything wrong with that, but that's just what I, I do. Now, I am a brand new driver, because when I was at Stevens, my first truck was a old ass Peterbilt, so you know that's no real difference there. But I'm just saying, I, and that, me being at Stevens for three years, I was just used to brand new stuff, okay? Now, the guy that is training me, he got that truck with 12,000 miles on it. So that was fairly new. So, you know, that that's what I'm saying is not really a big deal. So, but I'm just not used to driving older equipment. I got to get used to that. And I'm driving a Volvo. This is my first time driving a Volvo. I don't know what kind, what Volvo it is. Uh, when I get my truck, more than likely it's going to be a 10 speed manual truck. Um, when I get into the truck, we'll see what it is. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I, what I do know is uh my trainer okay he is home he could possibly be home every night listen to what i'm saying he can possibly be home every night but what you know because he's just he'd be running but he could, he could be home every night what he got deposited into his account friday when i got my little 682 okay it had a comma in it and the first number was five okay <laughs> it was five now he has some bonus checks in there and um and some other stuff but still to have that deposited into your account on a week on on in this week and you be home and you know it, it was just like that let me see what kind of money you can make as a company driver here at Hanson and Atkins, you know what I'm saying? So that right there got me a little excited. And then <clears throat> this job is really, you could be local, you could be regional, you could be, you could be OTR, but it's not really OTR. It's not too often that you're OTR, but uh, you can be OTR. So what I'm planning to do is once I get comfortable, um, they may need help out in California. And that's where the headquarters is out in Cali. So I'm going to go out there and run some local stuff out there. And if you do that, one, they got to get you out there. So you got to get a load going that way. So you may have to go to different terminals or they may have a load that, that is picked up on the East Coast that's going all the way to the West Coast. That load's paying great. Um, you know, anywhere between for that load, maybe three, four, five thousand $5,000 maybe. Uh, that and then when you're out there they're going to pay you $200 a $200 a week extra on top of the loads that you run okay so say if I you know my settlement or check should be 1500 then they're going to give me an extra $200 to um, I'm going to park right here I got to go in but I'm doing this video so I'm not going to have time to be doing all that right now so I'm going to just go right here but uh they pay you 200 extra dollars a week. And then uh, they pay you per diem for going out to other terminals. So that right there got me really excited, okay? Because all that means is, like say today, okay? Say today or, or last week, I, got, I would've got paid the, what my trainer got paid, right? That $5,000. Okay, that $5,000 is going to go into my trucking company. That money is going to get invested into my trucking company. Um, I'm only going to, I'm going to continue to pay myself the salary that I pay myself. Any extra money goes into and gets invested into the trucking company. Um, that is what you should do. You know, if you do what you want to do, but that's what I would do. And I'm just excited about making that kind of money and being able to invest, mind you, the trucks are doing what they're doing and investing that money into um, the company, man. And just think, uh-oh, just think when I become a owner operator, okay? Because that is the goal. I'm here to learn. And then once I learn, I feel comfortable, boom, we're going straight into owner operator on the car hauling side. I'm gonna go get a truck, go get a, um, a trailer and boom. I could do the lease program here. You know, I just gotta learn more about it, but uh, they do have that option here. 
So I'll look into that as well. So, um, but yeah, my first paycheck from training, 682. And so far, so good, man. So I'm excited. I'm excited to learn. But this is kicking my butt. I will say that it is kicking my butt. So I'll get acclimated. I want to, I need to work out too because, uh, you know, it's just, you need to be ready. Okay. I need to make sure I stretch before the, the day because climbing up and down those, those ladders and doing all that stuff, right? You, you got to be ready. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I'm excited. I just want to let you guys know, you know, what the pay was or what I made, you know. So, uh, the pay is 24% of the load. That's what you get paid. So we'll see what, you know, once I start running loads, we'll see what my paycheck is and we'll go from there. Okay. So just in case anybody's thinking about coming to Hanson and Atkins or going into car hauling, here's a place that'll train you and you'll be able to be home a lot more than what you are OTR. And there's a possibility if I run the loads right, I do everything right, that I could make $2,000 here a week as a W2 guy. Now, again, that'd be gross, but, um, you'll be able to do that. So you just got to run though. You got to work. If you ain't working, you ain't running. You're not going to make that. So I don't want you to get, get your hopes up. If you think as soon as you sign on the car hauling, you're getting paid. That's not, that's not how it works. You have to work here to get that kind of money. Okay. My trainer is showing me how he runs and it ain't no moping around chilling. No, it's boom, 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 boom. And getting the cars on safely without hitting anything doing your inspection on the cars, make sure no blemishes, no dents, no scratches, none of that, and getting them off the trailer. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's what it was. And uh, I'm going to go run my errands now, but I just decided to make that video. All right. So till next time, life is simple. Choose to be happy. And if you ain't about that life, you better get out of that truck.